Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Rome 2 Siege action. It has been a very long week. Well, last week. Not this week. This week we're in the middle. Uh, last week was a long week. And I only had one upload because I was on vacation. Uh, but we're back regularly, 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 regularly scheduled programming. There we go. I see that I haven't lost the ability to speak, so that's always good. Uh, but anyway, we're back, and this is a 3v3 on Ankyra. This one sent in to us by Emperor Candy Katsu, and as always, let's go over the players on the field of battle, quickly go over army comps, and then we'll get right into it. So, we have on the defending side, Fierce of Epirus playing as Nabatea. JJJ playing as Carthage, and Emperor Kandikatsu playing as Syracuse. Attacking, we have Flo playing as Iceni, Legacy playing as Sparta, and what in the name of fuck just happened? There we go. Not even going to bother to stop and edit that. That wasn't that big of a deal. And, uh, yeah, for those of you who never saw my wallpaper, there you go. You got to see it. Uh, anyway. Uh, where did I legacy as Sparta and then Desert Fox 32k as Swaby? So we'll start with the defenders and we'll work our way around. Uh, everyone's kind of mixed in here a little bit, so we'll start over here. We have from let's start with I see me, uh, mercenary companion or no, I'm sorry, Syracuse. This is gonna fuck me up, isn't it? Mercenary, <laughs> mercenary companion Cav. Uh, we have one, two, three, four. Four archers. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think Syracuse gets Cretans or, yeah, old Balearics or Rhodians. Uh, I don't think so. I could be wrong though. Correct me in the comments. Mercenary veteran hoplites. We have some thorax swords, thorax hoplites as general. Thorio spears, pikemen, pikemen right up front, huh? Very brave, very brave. Uh, thorax hoplites, hoplites. Hoplites, Mercenary Samnite Warriors. I believe there are two of them on the field. Nope, three. Got all three. Thorax Hoplites, Thurio Spears, and some Thurio Spears. That looks like it is about it. Carthage is bringing Noble Cab Gen. We have some Noble Fighters in the back, along with two Libyan infantry. Got a wall artillery right there. And then we have Scutari, Iberian Swords, Scutari, Iberian Swords, Scutari. Uh, we have some Cretans. We also have Samnites. I'm sure that they probably also have three Samnites. There's a second one. Uh, Libyans. There's a third. Libyans. And the, the Cretans again. Can we bring two Cretan archers? No. We brought three. Uh, and then, yeah, that, that looks like Gallic Warriors and Gallic Warriors. And then Nabatea is bringing. Desert Hoplites, Desert Hoplites, some Axe Warriors, Armored Desert Cav, Armored Desert, Armored Desert Curve, uh, Armored Desert Hop Hoplites, no, Cataphract, wait, yeah, Armored Desert Hoplites, that fucked me up for a second, uh, Neptune Axe Warriors, Desert Hoplites, Axe Warriors, Nabatine Heavy Archers, I'm assuming there's going to be four of them, Noble Swords, there's another Heavy Archer right there, right there, and right there, uh, Armored Hoplites, Noble Swords, Noble Swords, and then what do we have over here? Two Pikes? Two Pikes. Two Pikes. Where's their gen? There's their gen. What do they have? Noble Swordsmen. Okay. And then they also have uh, Desert Heavy Lancers. Now, moving on to the attackers. We have Iceni bringing lots of sword band, it looks like, and then the rest is just all chosen sword band. All and heroic nobles. Uh, so chosen sword band, regular sword band, and then heroic looks like three heroic nobles, a ballista, and then yeah, all chosen sword band. Sparta is bringing. Got a unit of royal Spartans over here. Uh, maybe they were anticipating a sally out, and that's why he left the spear unit over here. Sparta's really kind of spread out over here with his. Sparta might be in for a bad time. We'll have to see. Uh, royal Spartans as Gen, we have. Three Cretan archers, and then I'm assuming a slinger unit. Hell out archers, never mind, I lied. Uh, ballista, we have Heruculi spears. Spartan hoplites, Spartan hoplites. Here is a Sparta. 
Spartan, Hoplites, Hoplites, Veteran. What are those veterans? No, just. Heracli Spears, Royal Spartans, Heracli. And that looks to be about it. Oh no, we still got some more guys over here. Here's a Sparta and Royal Spartans. So yeah, Sparta's very spread out. Uh, I don't know if that's going to pay off for them or not. Anyway, moving on to Swaby. Swaby is bringing. We have some Woods and Spears, Swordmasters, four Kimbri Bow women. Uh, Swordmaster, 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 Swordmaster. Lots of Swordmasters. Uh, and then what do we have? Round shield, round shield, shield, round shield, round shield, round shield. Oof, that's a lot of round shield swordsmen. Uh, not bad, not great. Round shield. All right. 43 minutes, 41 seconds on the clock. Let's get this party stolen. Turn my volumes up, even though I'm wearing headphones. <laughs> uh, let's see, where are we? Anyone sallying out yet? Nope. Holding off, it appears. I think I, I would have liked to have seen uh, all of Nabatea's cab on one side. Um, I also don't know how they're going to fare against... Syrac Where's Syracuse's... Er... I already, already, already. Iceni, where's Iceni's archers? I honestly, I think, I don't think they brought any. I don't think they brought any slingers. Now that I'm, I'm remembering, because keep in mind, remember too that when you go to watch one of your replays, you get to see two armies: one from the attacking team, one from the defending team. And the one army that I got to see on the attacking team was Iceni. And off the top of my head, I did not see. I don't recall seeing any slingers, and obviously there's no place to hide in this brush, so... I mean, I, I guess it's, it's smart. I see he's more of a defending faction anyway. Slingers won't really aid you in assaulting the walls because you can't effectively volley up over the walls, so... But anyway, uh, Syracuse getting some long shots off. Really trying to thread the needle there to try and get... Uh, these ballistas over here, whether or not they're actually going to be able to do it, that is the question, isn't it? But Syracuse has rode out his companion Cav. You can see that Iceni has seen them, obviously, they can't be hidden anywhere. And are, is setting up a defensive line. Over here, Nabatea has charged out into the sword, uh, Rancho of Swordmen, not Swordmasters. <laughs> Pulling away quickly, he's managed to get, looks like maybe one or two? I don't know, I can't tell if they're going up or down, but these guys are just, I mean, oh no. Not good. Nabatee is going to have a field day with these guys. 43 kills already. Hopefully he's not out of ammo just yet. So yeah, now he's going to get some nasty shots off. I mean, I don't know what... Swaby should have seen this coming. And they don't have, well, the armor's 40. It's not terrible, but definitely isn't great. Now, yeah, yeah. There's no reason in chasing these guys. You'll never catch them. It's pointless. Uh, not a bad idea, however, maybe to go and uh, run him run him through all of Swaby's towers over here, just to get these guys off of uh, the towers and to hold them up even more. Uh, so far, it seems like Iceni is. She's yeah. No, yeah, I'm right. I'm right. Iceni is the only one so far who has moved up. Unfortunately, they have blocked. Syracuse from effectively using his... Actually, I don't know. That that looks like he might be able to thread that gap. Honestly. Oh, I would love to see that, see that tried. Actually, I wonder if I could try that. Because you can replay the battle. You can play replays. You can actually physically play them. And since Emperor Kandikatsu is the one who sent this in, and he is playing as Syracuse... So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. Just out of curiosity. I'll probably forget because of who I am as a person. But still, the thought is nice. Uh, meanwhile, let's see. Syracuse still out here with his cab. Over here, Nabti is doing uh, much of the same. They've lost 20 guys so far. I'm not really sure. Oh, yeah, he's just... Ooh. I mean, he's lost 30. 
But these round shield, yeah, I mean, uh, is he is he just trying to get them to use their javies? I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like there's more that he could have done with this cab instead of letting them become pinfishers. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. Carthage hasn't fired around yet, possibly waiting for Swaby to get inside the settlement. Uh, and then he can use the artillery uh, to bombard the uh, Swaby's lines as they get in here. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, companion cap coming in for a big charge. Huge charge. I mean, they already got peppered down probably most likely from the Cretans and even maybe from the archers from Syracuse and Carthage. Look at that, already breaking this unit. Swordman getting pretty well in thrash. They are up to 77 kills so far. Uh, they are losing, unfortunately, so you should maybe drag them out of there pretty quickly. The towers will be aiding them, but if you've been there too long, you're not going to have them for much longer. Uh, and that's, again, that's why I would have liked to have seen maybe it would have been a better idea if they had set up all their cab on one side. They would have been able to uh, effectively utilize them a little bit better. Or maybe not better, just cause more harassment to the attacking team. I mean, Nepti over here is doing pretty good. He's managed to actually get another unit dismounted. Not even having to actually uh, charge into them, it does not appear. Just causing them to actually drop. And here we go. Sparta doesn't appear to be paying any type of attention. I'm telling you, yeah, he's going to be able to get in there and get into these green archers if Sparta's not careful. And that's exactly what he's going to be going for, it looks like. You can get a big rear charge off. They can't stop. You just got to keep going. Here we go. He doesn't have frenzy charge or anything like that. Swaby getting blue Sparta, but it's a depleted unit, so he'll still be able to get in there. <laughs> Popping triangle formation, late wedge rather. And these guys are going to be out. They're going to be gone. Is that a pretty good charge off though? Numbers are dropping pretty quickly on these Cretans, so that's going to aid them in the long run. A uh, depleted unit is always better than a full one, obviously. Uh, but yeah, these guys are gone. 39 kills. I feel like they probably could have done better, but... <laughs> Pardon me. Managed to harass the enemy uh, pretty well and good and, and hold them up for quite a while. So... But now... You have Iceni's artillery firing in. The defender's artillery has been silenced. Oh, they burned down this tower. Oh, yeah, get him out of there. Get him out of there. You have 71%. Move. No, don't leave them there. The tower will damage them. I understand what you're trying to do, but don't do it. These Thorio Spears have so much to live for. Where are they at? They're at 160. There it goes. A couple men. Ooh, 156. So they lost four guys. Not terrible, but... Even still. <laughs> Look at that. Spun it around. I seen he should have. Uh... Oh, yeah, getting in the heroic nobles, too. That's not going to be good. Two shots out now, too. So he's also he's auto firing and he's manually firing. Ooh, those hella archers were starting to route a little bit. I wonder what they're going to uh, shot at by. Breaching the wall now. So we'll have to wait and see what happens here. Sparta's ballista up to 37 kills. I mean, if everyone decides to just bum rush this corner here, it's not going to end well for them. Tower still firing at this uh, uh, siege tower up to 65%. Now it's up to 69%. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> big shots coming in. Going after this front line of Syracuse's Thorax top lights. Definitely get something good to go for. As you come on. I mean, maybe it'd be worth pulling back. I mean, even the pikes are here. They're going to get hit too. I mean, this tower is down. You could... Uh, essentially pull back if you really wanted to at this point not have to worry about the tire uh, tire tire tower firing at you and you could let them in a little bit little spotters just taking their time this tower is going to catch on fire 
Only a matter of time. Sparta charging headlong into the gap here. Mercenary Gallic Warriors taking on some Spartan Hoplites. Surprisingly, oh, well, that's why they're getting shot at by these uh, Hello Archers. So good play on Sparta there. Tying up these Gallic Warriors with the spears and then firing at them into the side. Down to 86 men, only 75 kills. Sand Knights, though, however, are definitely going to put up more of a fight. 86% on this tower. It's going to burn. It's only a matter of time. I don't even know if he's like paying attention to this. I'm hoping... Uh, more shots coming in. Going after those archers. Swaby looks like they're finally... No, they're still just taking their time. Delayed attacks aren't always a bad thing. If you can force your your opponent to move their resources from one section of the wall to another because they have to, then that's absolutely big. Where'd, where'd Nabatea's cav go? There goes the companion cav. How'd they do? What do we end up with? 152 kills, not bad. Where is Nabatea's other cav cavalry unit? I don't see them. Did they die? Oh, no, no, no. Where, where'd they go? He must have gotten sallied out and then wrecked. Well, we're now for the homies. Anyway, round shield swords getting surrounded and eviscerated quickly. Uh, Royal Spartans not doing too good against the desert hoplites. Atari going to charge into the rear of the Spartans, possibly. Gotta be careful though with what Swaby's doing here. Meanwhile, back over here in this breach, it looks like Iceni. Oh, Iceni. Did they break down? No, they didn't. They didn't even go for this. So it appears that Iceni is, for the most part, is he? He is. It looks like he is complete. How did they? How did this break? Did he actually get a shot off with the ballista and hit this? Uh, looks like I seen he is actually just. This is our. This is the. This is it. This is the end. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> this really is it. I seen he's giving up. This whole uh, uh, frontal assault because he sees a breach. I mean, you could do that with yours. You still have ammo. Make another breach. Knock down this wall right here. You want an easier way in? Knock down the wall with your artillery. Sparta over here. Roll Spartans up to 205 kills. Wow. Doing really well against Nabatea so far. I mean, Sparta is usually primarily... How does this burning? Why is this burning? Who's burning all these? Is it the archers? There's no collapse. These Gallic Warriors might disappear when this thing collapses. And they're about to... Yeah, they're going to be gone. But then the Spartans also. Smartly, he pulled back his Samnites. They'll be able to charge in and really clean up these guys. But man, it seems like the defenders aren't necessarily having a, a difficult time containing the attackers, but the attackers are kind of all over the place. The only reprieve that the defenders are getting is the fact that Iceni has decided to do a pro-gamer move and completely switch up where he was attacking. I seen him going to burn down another tower, it looks like. This is not... I don't know if this is worth it. To burn down these towers. I expect they're gonna go and try and knock down the gate. Barda has a couple units getting ready to, to, to route here, including Swaby. Round two swords, not really surprising. We get some armored desert hoplites and Nabatean axe warriors. Axe warriors are pretty good, man. They're not bad.
cost effective unit, especially if you know how to use them. No! I don't know, do we have any breaking? Yep, looks like we did. Carthages, I'm assuming, yes, Katari, routing. Sand Knights holding the line with Thorax Hoplites in behind. Thorio Spears no! making their way up. They're going to start to pepper down the sword band as they were trying to burn down this Boss! here. Uh, tower. They're going to get it too, but they're going to take a beating because of it. Honestly, I think it would have been better to set them up over here. That way you don't have to worry about the tower getting burnt and damaging your units. And then also, if the Thorio Spear were set up over here, uh, you'd be getting the side shots in. So you'd be hitting the left or the right hand. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Thank you. Thought I, thought I was gonna crash for a second. Uh, but you'd be hitting the left, the, the right hand, their sword hand, so that the missile block chance is lessened a wee bit. But looks like the gate is down. They're gonna probably charge the way in there, but of course they're gonna take some damage because of that, if that is indeed what they're gonna do. This tower, 61%. Please get them out of here. Please. Sparta has and Swaby. And I see he had managed to break through here after some bloody fighting. It's like the silhouette. Is that the oh, it is. It's the silhouette. That's fucking hilarious. Do you see that? That's amazing. Sorry, I'm getting distracted because I have ADHD. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at this. Swaby has done it too. Swaby has done it too. It's gonna. This is gonna allow it to be easier to contain the attacking forces. Just because. <sighs> and Kyra, I feel like is. Oh, there they are. Okay. 134 kills, too. Not bad. Nice. Love to see it. Uh, and Kyra is one of those settlements where <clears throat> it's easy to attack, but I feel like it's also kind of easy to defend, depending. Um, I mean, yeah, Sparta, uh, you know, you have all these troops, like, so far back. You're going to rush them up. They're going to be tired. Uh, but if you give up attacking anywhere out you know what i mean like i feel like it's imperative on this map to be hitting multiple sides to keep everyone stretched out to keep the defenders stretched out right so that they have because there's so many parts in this settlement where while they're attacking while they're defending here you can attack over here and put pressure on different flanks but the attackers just completely gave that up and i feel like this happens not a lot, but it is something that does happen. Where someone brings artillery, they make a breach, another team member sees that breach and says, oh, fuck yeah, look at this. So this is gonna break, Granite's gonna do some damage to our top lights, and I see uh, to our top lights and Sandlight Warriors, but it's also gonna damage Swaby, Iceni, and so that's not, not the greatest moves. But this could also make for a pretty cool Screen capture, yes. Fuck. Never mind. I waited too long. Uh, <laughs> See, I, and Kyra, I feel it is critically important to be attacking multiple sections of the wall of this settlement uh, in order to not give your defenders an edge. Because while <clears throat> the attackers do have an advantage when it comes to bringing any type of artillery because the deployment line is so close and you can get these shots like halfway across the settlement map. Uh, if you pen yourselves into a small section like this, then you're really giving the defenders a huge advantage in only having to, you know, switch out troops when they need to, not having to worry about getting attacked on any, any other side, so imperative to hit up multiple sides of this settlement. <laughs> Chosen Sword Man starting to route, 102 kills, Hierogly Spears moving around, down to 96 men, 39 kills. 
Thorax Swords charging in. They're going to take on the poor Poriotli. Poriotli? Poriotli. Uh, spears, they're not going to do too well since they are just kind of medium spear infantry. They ain't great, they ain't terrible. Uh, but they definitely will not hold up against some Thorax swords. And that's saying something. 25 minutes left in this one, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, do all that cool YouTube stuff. It helps out the channel. Of course, I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to check out the links in the description down below to Twitter, Twitch, and uh, Discord server. I almost forgot that I had a Discord server. Um, and of course, if you're new to the channel and you happen to have, happen, happen to have battle replays of your own, uh, feel free to join the Discord server, drop those replays in the replay section, and I'll get to them in a timely manner. Although I do have quite the backlog at the moment. Uh, and now that I'm back on a regular schedule, I will be trying to power through them as much and as fast as I can. <clears throat> so, uh, man, I mean, ooh, Nebati is way back here. They're not hidden, but I mean, they're still roving around. There's a strong possibility that, no way that these guys are out of ammo. No fucking way they're out of ammo. Same with these guys. There's no way that, that I see these 170 kills, maybe. But these guys, uh, uh don't believe it. Don't fucking believe it, eh? Um. So the attackers are, I mean, they're, they're making a lit, a little bit of headway. But how, how much are they suffering because of it? What they really need to do is. They need to, uh, you know, whether it's it's Sparta or Swaby, they need to move their archers. They need to move their archers over here so that their archers are firing into the back ranks of these units. But it does not appear that is what they are doing. 101 kills, don't even tell me, okay. Yeah, they're not even firing at all. They're not using it. They're too worried about these guys. They're moving actually to go and fire on. Not worth it. It's not worth firing at these uh, at, at this at the shot cap unit. It really is not worth it. Swaby is so concerned about this one singular cab unit that they're not focusing on the battle that actually matters. This isn't important. I mean, th this right now is, is a win for Nabatea because he's drawing away two units of archers and two units of sword masters. Sure, he didn't engage them, they didn't get into any type of a fight, but he's still drawing away troops from the main task at hand. I, I mean, you know, Swaby could, you know, he sh not even could, he should. He should be having these Kimberly Bow women fire into these this mass. Sparta should be conserving their ammo because they have rapid reload. Uh, and I see he just doesn't have anything. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm hearing artillery fire. Where is that coming from? Did Carthage? Carthage did. Swung it around. 111 kills. Look at that. Nice. Still firing? Do we have ammo left? Nope. We did get 111 kills, though. Love to see it. <clears throat> Got some Cretans moving up along with some Nabatean heavy archers. They're going to get in here, and they're really going to start to cause some havoc. Um, genuinely surprised that I'm assuming that they are, at least, although I don't see them anywhere. Uh, Alright, so maybe I won't be surprised that Syracuse's pikes are gone. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Thurio Spears in the mix, 78 kills, down to 71 men. Put them in square. Put them in square. Always put... There they are, there are the pikes. Always put your Thurio Spears in square. You want them to last a little bit longer? You want them to hold out? Throw them up in square. And they will amaze you. Um, so now, because Iceni and Swaby have, as I said, you know, gave up on attacking, defenders can just focus all. I mean, look at all the troops that are now being shifted over because no one has to worry about anything over here. I mean, again, if this battle's over, they might incur heavy losses. But this battle is over. I mean, what, what are you doing? Why are you... You know, 145 kills. They're out of ammo. Okay. 
Finally, they're attacking, but they're going after the archers. I mean, why are they going after the archers? That's what it looks like at least. Uh, let's see. These Cretans are going after the Helot archers. Not really sure that I would have concerned myself with them. I probably would have been going after the Cretans. This, I feel like this thing has been burning forever. Or maybe it was the other one. But this thing's gonna burn down, and these archers aren't gonna make it. Ooh, you know what? I wonder if I can get that. I did. I don't know if it's a good picture, but I got it. Um. So yeah, I mean, the, are they pulling back? They were getting peppered. Mercenary Cretans are in here, and they're gonna get thrashed immediately. Uh, and they don't really have a lot of archers left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six archers. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't really know what he's doing. I mean, these archers have 176 kills. They don't have any more ammo. Got some uh, 180 kills for these armored to the top lights, doing a hell of a job holding back. Again, they weren't in shield wall either. I know, you know, it, it condenses them, unfortunately, but I feel it's, when you have your allies backing you up, I feel it's, it's very important to put your hoplites into some type of, ooh, this is a I don't know if I saw that. No, I did. What am I talking about? Um, but I mean, woods and spears, charging forward, doing pop, anti, yeah, cavalry counter tactics. Solutions. Jesus Christ. Carthage's general falling back inside the city. He's going after these archers, so it was worth a try. Wasn't able to get them all. Well, almost said it. Wasn't able to get them. Almost said. Get them all. But I didn't. I didn't say that. He's almost able to get them. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this this is over. I, I would almost say, I would argue that he could probably bring the pikes forward. Uh, but I mean, if he did that, then they, it would, you know, technically be pike sacking. We don't really, you know, Thorax pikes. 74 melee defense with that hoplite wall. Holding back Chosen Sword and Heroic Nova's doing a hell of a job doing it, too. Uh, Syracuse has actually also wrapped some guys up and around the wall here to get them in. And they're fighting these chosen sword men here, but also maybe they're getting into the sides of these guys. Uh, it'd definitely be a boon if they can get some archers to assist. I think maybe if he had, I can't really see any. where they're facing. Yeah, they're not facing. If, I think that maybe if there was some archers here with 150 range, whether it's uh, oh, 110, he must have a uh, heavy shot on. Uh, with 150 range, they might be able to reach this and fire into the back of these units. That would definitely be helpful. Henry Bowen firing up and over at... Or no, it's... Maybe it is... Yeah, it's Henry Bowen firing at... What are they going after? Samnite Warriors? I don't know, man. I think maybe... Or no, they're probably out of ammo, right? Yeah, they're out. Of, they're out. 153 kills. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Nebtia's Shock Cab is... Nowhere to be seen. I guess it must have gotten thwarted. Quite possibly. Um, is he gonna? Oh, he's gonna sally out. I think that's maybe what I would do, actually. Bang! 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 Attack their position! Just an absolute mess. I don't think I've, I've I've never seen this many towers on fire or smoking before. So, also or siege towers, I mean, but also I mean regular towers as well. <laughs> They're just getting absolutely torched. <laughs> Usually that's the Emperor Candy Katsu thing. It looks like somebody took a yes, something out of the sleeve. So, uh, Swordmaster General in the mix for Swaby. Personary 
Sand Knights holding back some Woods End Spears. And that would definitely be the time to charge out uh, your cab gen if you really wanted to. I, I think that would be the best. This is definitely the best time to do it. Because you could maybe get a good charge on the Swordmasters, then pull right through, and then get the rest of these archers, possibly. I mean, the Swordmasters are retreating pretty quickly. I'm assuming maybe they'll get on this tower right here. Uh, to assist the Royal Spartans. We shall see. 62 kills for these Kimberly Bowmans. And they're out of ammo. Holy shit. You gotta be kidding me. Breaking for Mycenae, but also Nabatea. Wow. 242 kills for Noble Swordsmen. Not bad. Advance! But yeah, I, you know, they, meh. again, I, I know I'm beating a dead horse here, but again, you gotta, you cannot lemming train. You cannot lemming train. Just, if there was another breach, sure, go right ahead. But there's one, there's one breach and you're barely, you're not even trying to use anything else. Sand Knight Warriors retreating, 171 kills. 53 guys, they'll probably come back, actually. And, uh, I mean, if they come back from while they're outside, he might be able to, to pull off something sneaky here and get into the rear of maybe the Spartan General or any of these troops that are out here. Flavio over here has been completely shut down. They don't really have much of anything left. Sending in their Kimberly Bowman because they're out of ammo for the most part. The Pikes are now in the mix. 22 kills so far. Uh, and this is just like, this is a great spot because they don't have any ammo left. It doesn't have uh, 19 kills there for this unit. So they have the, the ammo, but it's not definitely not worth it. They'll, they end up losing, so he's got to keep them there. Uh, but the Pikes are going to have a field day. Eventually, they will start to take a beating, unfortunately, but they're going to have a field day here, especially up against the Archers and whatnot. And then, what is just Swordmaster and Swordmaster. General's still alive, but even still, they're exhausted. Uh, these guys are going to be able to stand here for a while, do their pokey-pokey, and uh, whittle down these units pretty good. I mean, if, if Syracuse can really pull something off well here, look at that. Look at that. Got him in the square. Uh, chosen sword man. Uh, it looks like because they're in square, though, they're doing like wonky shit. So, but what are you going to do? So, he's not pulling his, his units through. He's not pulling uh, or pushing through troops. He just, when they were still on the wall, he hit square, and they can't be in square on the wall, so they move so that they can accommodate that. Ooh, did you get it? He ain't. He ain't. Royal Spartans, though, are going to get the charge off. I'm going to try and pull back his Sam Knights, but I don't know. Uh, actually, no, he might get away from them. Because <coughs> these guys are super heavy, so it'll be tough to follow them. But tough to follow the Sam Knights, that is. Uh, but yeah, over here, and Sparta's just getting waffle stomped at the moment. Syracuse, or Iceni rather, is using good, utilizing the wall. So good on him there, getting a nice charge in for the rear of the Sand Knights. Uh, honestly, though, I think it might have been a better idea if he had continued to move a little bit more and then charged in. I mean, you're not going to win. So at this point, just try and get as many kills as you possibly can, right? Because you're going back spikes, you know, 30 spears, 30 spears. Uh, you're not going to win. So now just try and get as many kills as you can. I mean, here's a fresh unit, pretty much, of living infantry. They're going to come in and tie up these two chosen sword bands. Uh, and then, yeah, the rest of the heroes of Sparta and Royal Spartans are just going to get torn up. Broke Nobles, they're not going to last too much longer either. They're very tired, on the brink of exhaustion. Green's getting sent up with 200 kills. Uh, what's his abilities? What does he have? Second Wind and Battle Rhythm? I don't think the Noble Fighters are in. Where are they? Right there, and I think he only has one, actually. 
Yeah. Yeah, looks like it. So yeah, it'd be good, you know, get the noble fighters up in here, charge them in, uh, and then you can pop headhunt and then battle with them, and that'll make them like just ridiculously stupid strong. Pike's still doing a pretty good job of holding the line over here. Archers in the back to back them up. Fly, flying on me. Uh, but yeah, these sword man, they're winning decisively, really? Even these guys are losing. So that's who they're winning decisively again. <laughs> I mean, if Swaby had any sense, he, you know, or Sparta for that matter, he'd get somebody up on the walls and have them come around. But I guess they don't realize that they can do that. I'm not sure. Gonna get a big charge here, chasing down these Kimbry Bowen. Noble Cav gonna get the charge off. Big charge, kind of. Huge, gigantic, massive, absolutely gargantuan. Kimbry Bowen gonna be gone. Sparta's general doing a complete about face. Chasing after Carthage's general, not gonna. I mean, what are you doing? What do you actually think you're like? Do you think that you're gonna be able to catch up? Like the bow women were already doomed. Turning around and chasing after the cab isn't gonna do you any good. I mean, this front line here is just is too strong. Living like living and then in the noble fighters and then yeah, I just <laughs> oh. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Dear or I see any, it's too late for this. It is too late for this. This is a moot point, because you know why? They're gonna be able to surround you. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. These Samites are gonna surround you. Thorax hoplites are gonna be in, in uh, reserves to be able to buff. The rope nobles, he, sent, he did the attack order too soon and now they're gonna drip in. You see me, you fool. Pike's still holding on. Maybe not. I lied. Pikes looks like they might have died. There they go. Only 94 kills. Oh well. Oh, nice. Getting in here, tying up these units. Let's see. You can probably get another good charge off if he's quick. <laughs> Still? No, no, they're out. Are they all out? They are all out. What do we get? 135, 65, 117, and 186. Not bad. <laughs> Pardon me. So, yeah, I mean, it's just a, an utter grind at this point. Sparta's units are just, like, are, well, they're winning there. Carthage needs to get these noble fighters in some, like, I mean, like, he needs to get them up on the wall here and have them come around and charge in the back of these heroes of Sparta. Like, that is so incredibly imperative that the heroes of Sparta, no, okay, I guess so. I, I get that. But pop headhunt. <laughs> They were pushing through, but pulling back to get a rear charge in the heroes of Sparta. Got some routing from Carthage, but also also Sparta. Real Spartan starting to route. Still with Pikes from Nabatea. 184 kills there. 157. 36. Skitari 26. Yeah. Pikeman not. Yeah. minutes left. Bounce of power is in the defender's favor. For sure, but no, yeah, here's Spar now losing. Herogly Spears and then 59 guys. 184 kills though, so not too bad. 
throw your spears in square position. Love to see it. Love to see it. Throw your spears over here, taking on the Royal Spartan General. Sam Knights taking on the Royal Nobles. Thorax Hoplites and Sam Knights taking on the Royal General. Second wind has been popped. Understood. Hopefully they'll be able to out stamina these heroic nobles. Where is the fucking Junior General? There he is. Whoa! Oh well, wait no. Wait. Where's the rest of your dudes? Where? Where's the rest of your dudes? Right? It, it said 67. Oh, they're right here. What's going on here? Trailing far behind. He's trying to get a charge in. The Sam Knights are starting to break, but I mean, so are the Chosen Sword Man. Sam Knights taking on the Royal Spartan Gen. Mm, they have backup though, so. Sam Knights may end up losing. They are fresh over, so. Yeah, there it goes. Well, combat's even now. Pull up the six. Pulling out to get a charge off. Trying to, it looked like he was trying to get into the back of the heroic noble general. And that's losing, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think they have any ammo left either, which is unfortunate. Unless, of course, he. Um, Uh, we'll put him in skirmish mode. <laughs> so that's a neat little trick you can do that I, I learned recently. Uh, if you you don't necessarily want your archers getting shot at and you feel that your opponents are of a higher caliber, because uh, most of the time what will happen is if you have a good player, they'll know they'll pay attention to their opponent's archers. And they'll zoom in, they'll take a look at how many kills they have, and oh, 65, okay, like, let me zoom in real quick. Oh, their daggers are out, they're out of ammo, so I don't have to shoot them. I'm gonna look for a better target. But, if you put your archers in skirmisher mode, they put their bows away, and they take out their daggers. So, if you're playing against higher tier opponents, who do things like that to check to make sure before they start firing big charge on the Swordmaster General, exhausted, and yeah, they're gonna start to rout. Um, but if you do that, there's a good chance that they won't shoot at your archers. But I have to make it abundantly clear, you at least have to have a, a, a decent amount of kills on your archer units for that bluff to actually work and pan, pan out. How many kills do you have? 62. I would, I, should, I would charge them back in. The general's gone. The general's dead. It's going to be a, a, a moderate hit to morale. Sparta has moved his general uh, into the causeway to block. Over here, looks like, yeah, they're losing this fight, unfortunately. But, I mean, overall, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we still have two Thorax Pikes from Nabatea, fresh, ready to go. Um, and they alone should be enough to deal with the remainder of Sparta and Iceni's forces. Martin General chasing after, I mean, don't chase. This is what's gonna happen, he's gonna go after them. Yeah, they're gonna climb up. I'm gonna, I thought maybe he would charge into the rogue nobles. There you go, the Thorax Hoplites, or Sandlites rather. 127 kills it look like, not bad. Carthage still has some units here. Noble fighters, noble fighters, noble fighters. There we go. 261 kills, wow, nice, love to see it. They're probably gonna do pretty well against these sword masters. Sparta's moving around his spears. Iceni is also moving around the left of his heroic nobles. They're gonna meet the Libyan infantry here. Never mind, they're just gonna... Oh, those are the sand lights. Wow, so he's not even gonna bother with these guys. There they go. Yeah, they're just gonna charge right in the back of the Royal Nobles. Heroclay Spears in square formation. They are gonna take on these Katari. We 
we're gonna start. There's a minute left, so I'm curious if we're gonna see a mass route or if everyone just quit. It's gonna be one or the other. Is his general still alive? He is. Is his general still alive? He is. But we're starting to see. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be a mass route. <clears throat> Noble Swords taking on the Heroic Nobles. Definitely not going to go the Noble Swords way, but if they can hold out for 45 seconds, they will live. Big charge from Noble Cab. Twenty seconds. These guys are gonna be losing soon. Winning, yeah. Sparta's gone, and now it's just this rogue no win. Don, Dunzo, Finito, Finn. There it is. There it is. All right. Pierce of Epirus getting 1,659 kills, 0 for his gen, 47 for the Armored Desert Cav, and 144 for the Desert Heavy Lancers. 184, 159, 79, 79 for his archers, 0 for the Armored Desert Hoplites, for that unit at least, and then 167, 180, uh, 28, and 81. Oh, for the Armored Desert Hoplites, 28, 81 for the Desert Hoplites. Uh, 1184, 134 for the Axe Warriors, 0 and 0 for the Pikes, and then 43, 243, and 0 for the other Nova Swords. JJJ getting 2,609 kills, 73 for his Gen, 206, 190, and 199 for his Archers. Well done there. 194, 120, 213, 108 for the Libyan Infantry. 39, 86 for the Gallic Warriors. 157, 45 for the Iberian Swords. 307, wow. For the uh, Noble Swords, 203, 65, and 141 for the Sand Knights, 120, 96, and 47 for the Sixtari. Emperor Kandikatsu getting uh, 2,431 kill or 13 rather, kills. 77 for his Gen, 152 for the Companion Cav, uh, 188, 65, 135, 117 for the Archers, 121, 124, 171 for his Sand Knights, 77, 233 for the Mercenary Veteran Hoplites, 111 for the Pikes, not bad. Uh, <clears throat> Thorax Hoplites getting 84, 69, nice, and 126. Uh, Thorax Swords, 181, and then Thorax Spears, 171, uh, 39, 106, and 66. So, well done there. Flow getting 2,195 kills, 2,000, two, 2002, Jesus. 202 for his general, 170 for the Ballista. One, yeah, no, no fucking slingers. What? <laughs> 105, 64, 47, 159, 133, uh, 154, 113, 138 for his chosen sword band. Uh, 289, one, uh, 318, and then 67 the heroic nobles. And then 14, 39, 76, 16, 15, 6, and 70 for the sword band. Legacy getting 2,481 kills. 325 for his gents. Nice. Uh, 2 or 168. Uh, 250 and 226 for the Royal Spartans, 88 for his Ballista, 119, 219 for the Heroes of Sparta, 73, 151, 178, and 188 for the Archers, Heracles Spears, 75, 35, 68, and 44, and then Spartan Hoplites, uh, 58, 50, 32, and 134. Desert Fox, 32K, getting 1,291 kills, 213 for his Gen, 40, 64, 139, and 28 for the Kimberly Bowwoman. 50, 81, 83, 13, 40, 75, 24, 17, and 0 for the sound, bleh, for the sound swordsman, for the round shield swordsman, <laughs> and then 71, 86, 105, 69, 69, nice for the sword masters, and 24 for the woods and spears. Uh, yeah, don't, don't let him train. Not a good idea, especially on that one. Uh, but that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I know I did. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be it for today. I, well, yeah, I just said I hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, here's the problem, okay? Last week on my week off, I stayed up late every single night to play Destiny 2. And now I'm completely regretting that decision, regardless of how amazing and awesome that it was. <laughs> 
because now I'm just delirious and kind of tired. But that being said, guys, have a great day, morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are, while you're watching, just have a good one. Peace out, guys.